So, I have a problem. The panda photographer has an issue, but he thinks, I think I can resolve it. So, before we even start this video, let me please say welcome to San Francisco. There's no one out there. And that's a good thing. And I was doing photography and I came up with a snag solution with this is Yu Lu Nong Z. Lu Nong Stop it, Panda. I'm the panda photographer, everyone. You know what? Let's cut the bullshit out. Sorry. You know what? YouTube, all that, forget you guys. I'm gonna still represent me. I don't need you. Guys, hey, we go. Yulong Z quick release adapter was on my quick uh, quick release arc switch plate for my mad photo. Right? Just got that. And what happened in the situation before you was this situation. So as I turn this to the screw and as I get to tighten it down and then I use a screwdriver to tighten it down, I thought this was tight, right? Then I started to move it as I noticed that it wasn't tight and I move it just like that. I kept doing that, just like that, right? And it got tighter, left it alone. But over time, it kept coming loose. And then I was like, why is it doing that? Then it's eating up the rubber, causing this suction Weird, oh god, guys, weird. It started to cause a suction where you can see from the inside where it was sucking in the air pockets. Oops, sorry, you can see where you're sucking into the air pockets. Do I have this camera in landscape or? Oh wow, I thought I had this camera in landscape. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oh, I thought it was chasing back on him. Like, never mind. I do apologize for that. So it was causing a suction when you're turning it. And then this happened to the quick release. So yeah, there was pieces of fragment inside. So yeah, and one of the pieces of fragment I took out, there it is. And there's a pretty nice indication somewhere in there that might, right here, why why does it suck it in in these gaps? I don't understand that. You you long Z. So I'm gonna try to fix this. I got crazy glue, which you guys know that, right? You don't panic got the crazy glue. Sorry the footage of this camera shaky. Stupid back phone, iPhone. Let's see if the front camera will work better. Does that work better? Let's see. It's not so shaky as the first one, is it? Yeah. See? Panda, wake up! <laughs> now, let's get business. Shall, I, shall we? Welcome to San Francisco. And this may have calls or me use an arrow. Maybe I was, I thought I had it down tight and this started moving like this. You see, you see, whoa, 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 whoa. First, that's when I used the back camera. That, this is when you start seeing this, twisting. Why is it twisting? Shouldn't do that. It's not twisting on the plate. It's twisting with U Long Z adapter. Is that too much weight for it? it I thought this could handle it, Lu Long Z. I'm, so, I'm kind of curious, man. <laughs> I really am like thinking about this right now. Tell me, guys. It makes claims that it can sustain more than 20 kilograms of weight. That's a fraction. <laughs> Literally a freaking fraction. That's a carbon fiber slider, by the way. Mind you that, you long Z. Carbon fiber slider, right there. And what I was trying to do Honestly, let's try to build a three or two in one. Make my life a little bit easier. 
when I want to do my landscapes or my micro. Or when I want to be lazy enough to do portraits outside. Like, like use a tripod. Yep. Yeah. Pose. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Why not? Take advantage of that tripod. It's a really good carbon fiber tripod. But anyway. But this happened. So now I'm going to try to use crazy glue to try to fix my uh, plate. And I have very knowledgeable skills how to make sure it will never happen again. And that's, I'm not only going to use crazy glue, proxy. Like I'm uh, really just a tiny drop and smear it and then crazy glue and have that bound you know, together, cause it stiff. So the, it doesn't turn here because I notice you can see here too. Look closely, it's nibbing. The, this thing is nibbing, and that's the inside is doing that. Like this edges here, look at these edges. See, it's those edges that's nibbing. That's that's a flaw. You long z, if the edges are digging into the plate, yeah, you should have made this hold. Seriously, you should make the whole entire plate hold. Or just leave, no, you can't leave a hole because that would cause also the rubber to go up too. And that's the problem with quick releases these days now too. So the only solution would be puncture holes. Like, psh, psh, psh. So there is some, some air causing it to move inside, carefully, smoothly. I'm gonna fix this, guys. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna make this work. So basically, this was on here. Plate, boom. Look. Boom, and then I, I can make adjustments. I took some dope shots. I'm gonna show you, ooh, battery's not in. Because it's charging one battery. Over here, we can probably put, plug this back in. Take one of these batteries. Okay. Slide that bad boy in. Boom. Get that power going. They show you some of the pan of magic we were trying to make earlier. And play this back for you guys. Look at that shot. Wait. Oh no, YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> you guys got that rhyme? YouTube, YouTube. Instagram does this. It overexpose your footage. When you move it slightly, it will overexpose it. Oh, you guys are way overexposing. <laughs> oh, YouTube, where is like the main controls? On your mobile phone. Seriously. Alright, we're gonna try to do some magic here. We're gonna try to. Like, no, we can't. No. Let's see. Trick it. Just trick it. Boom. Ah! Wait. Trick it. How to correct white balance with an iPhone with it. Ah. Look at that. <laughs> Came close. I gotta make sure I hold this very still though. Hold on. Trick it. Five seconds. Boom. Back up. There you go. That's how you trick YouTube's uh, stupid white balance. I just show you how to. What's up with that? <laughs> For real. Yeah. Who's the dumb dumb now? <laughs> Come on, YouTube. You you know you could have implemented that with some feature in the phone. Now I gotta do it again. I'm gonna show you this is the picture. Boom. I don't really like it. Some of you may like it. I don't like the shot. Honestly, 
I, I'd rather have all the trail lights go throughout the image or be a skit. If you guys don't know what a skit is, a skit is basically, you have drivers that you know, what they do is they flick the lights off and on for you as they drive down the street. It's called a skit. I learned that. <laughs> so... Teaching you some street tricks as a street photographer, not a, not, not a classroom photographer, street photographer. We, we, there is a difference. I, I assure you, there, there is a difference between a street photographer and a classroom photographer. But we all share a similarities. We love this bitch. <laughs> Ow. Give me five. Ow. We love this bitch. <laughs> so anyway, with that, that ended, <laughs> with that said, <laughs> let's clean this mess up and try to fix this. All right, I need my crazy glue. <laughs> I'm just being real. I'm sick of this COVID-19 getting crazy out of his mind. Yuki looks like a mess. <laughs> I'm like, wow, everyone's, everyone's going through their own issues, and I'm not understanding how the politicians don't see this. <laughs> if another human being sees another human being going through something mentally and physically and visually, come on. Blinded bastards. <laughs> but I took some dope stuff today. Try to illustrate something on Instagram. Look at that shot. What this trick? Let me show you how I trick YouTube's white balance on an iPhone. Check it out. Get a white card or a great card. Watch. Give it some light, and then let it expose back a little bit. Oh, I missed it. Got to do it again. Actually. Let's go get the white balance card. Where is it? Oops. I had to put you guys on the standby. Sorry about that. But this is what I'm trying to fix. The Yulong Z quick adapter and I'm showing you a trick that I just showed several times out this video in the last 12, 13 minutes, how to check the white balance on YouTube on your iPhone, right? Target, and you quickly pinch towards the, f if you want to display it in the back of your, uh, your can, cause uh, sometimes it does this weird thing with your LCD in the back of your camera and it over exposes sometimes. And you can't control it on the YouTube app. So, trying to show you how I tricked it last time. And you push in, see if it comes in. Push back a little bit. Nope. Mm, not too. But I digress, I wanna fix that. I wanna fix that. That's the purpose of this video. <sighs> I'm doing too much. <laughs> I'm trying to do several things at one time. I'm trying to fix the GoPro. I'm also trying to fix the quiet balance on the YouTube. I'm trying to fix the plate for that. I'm trying to fix the Zanvu plate. I also fixed, guys, in my Instagram video, I show how I got a perfect neural parallax by setting it up in the window here earlier tonight. And those are the images that you saw taken. But the Luang Z, mm mm mm. Your packaging, ugh, magnificent, bro. Ooh, gorgeous. I marry that bitch any day of the week. Because that's a good package. But the quick release, the claw, the main reason why this is, the main reason, everyone, why this happened is because of this teeth. The teeth on this, it's grabbing the rubber. 
and sucking it in and then twisting it as you twist in. Yeah. And if you tighten it down, right, and use the pliers, just make sure you hold it with a really good set of pliers and twist that shit hard. But here's a problem. These, uh, these screws take a damage and they take a freaking beat in. And that's the problem that you want, you do not want to happen. So you try not to go to the, those extremes. Look how the abuse on that. That's some serious abuse, <laughs> right? Now you understand that I want to think smart and strategize with this and try to fix the problem without causing more damage. As a photographer, I'm also trying to save money because uh, Panda doesn't have it all the time. And sometimes I don't like getting replacements when I'm not in a place I don't feel comfortable in, especially with dealing with uh, Amazon. No. I told Amazon, get your guy together, and I come back. <laughs> I'm not going to buy anything. It has to come through B&H or Amazon then. Or some other entity that is better than Amazon when it comes down to camera parts. So I have to go to buying them directly from Yulong Z, <laughs> which is a great route. I just don't want to use... That, that system, I like using PayPal, so there's also an uh, electronic transaction happening. But, yeah. Yeah, if you ever buy Yulong Z's products, they use a PayPal system. Anyway, got the good shots. I'm trying to make the system... Oops. I'm trying to make the system like a two and three and one. So it's mounted on the... I guess I can show you what it really look like. Basically... Mount on top of here, like boom. And this is the, the carbon slider, would give me flexibility to move forward or backwards, which gives me a better <laughs> no point and no parallax <laughs> options. Uh, there you have it, Panda. Bravo. I digress. I am going to go and find me something to fix this with and continue on with my day. With that said, I am now going to take a break, fix this ASAP. You guys have a good one. Share this video if you find this very helpful. If, if you want to find out more about what I'm doing as I'm traveling and taking pictures, check out my Instagram. It's important you check out Instagram. A lot of people actually interact with me do DMs, like more than all platforms combined. So I talk to people, I react to people, I react to people's photos quite a bit. I say some funny things like, my favorite slogan is, oh my panda. But I would add some emphasis on top of like, listen, tell her to call my lens, because my lens says, hey girl, it's time. You and, you and him made a match. You know, funny stuff, comments like that. It's all about the art of sharing love, but also like giving the, the, the photographer and the model also some encouragement. Like, oh, call your lens, huh? You think you can handle it? Like, shit, can, can you handle it? I think, I think the IRX 150 can handle you, girl. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, it's gonna take it out of the bag before we go. Should we? Oh no, I, it, it's too much. Too much. Let's let her sleep. Let her sleep, cause uh, we awake her. She's she's gonna, she's gonna be disappointed that there's no model here. <laughs> she don't want to take a picture of me either. Shh, look at me. I'm a mess. <laughs> See ya.